everyone welcome to my channel my name is Karima and in today's video I'm going to be sharing how to make chicken spring rolls spring rolls are one of my favorite snacks and I'm going to be showing you guys a simple way to make it if you're not already subscribed to my channel please make sure that you subscribe I post food videos every week so you don't want to miss out on all the recipes that I have coming and also like this video and share it as well I'm gonna put all the ingredients that I'm gonna be using in the description box below so you can check out the list now without further ado let's get into it so here I have some cabbage, carrots, sliced onion, spring onion, ground chicken. For this ground chicken, I bought regular chicken breast and I just used my food processor to mince it. If you can get ground chicken or minced chicken directly, you can do that or just get chicken breast and use your blender or food processor to mince it like I'm doing. And I also have some spring roll wrapper and I'm using store-bought wrapper for this. It's only $1.50 at my grocery store and it comes with 25 sheets. And you can probably get this at any big supermarket if you're in Nigeria. So I'm going to remove the packaging from the wrapper and I'm going to use a wet paper towel to cover it. And this is going to keep it, um, this is going to prevent it from drying out while I prepare the other ingredients. So I'm going to add a little bit of canola oil into my pan and add the sliced onion and I'm going to stir fry this for about a minute or two minutes until it becomes translucent. Then I'm going to add the ground chicken. And I'm just going to stir fry this until um, the color changes completely. Then I'm gonna add in the seasonings and I'm using salt, crushed garlic, black pepper, ginger powder, red crushed pepper, and some chicken seasoning. So I'm gonna add this and stir everything. I'm gonna put a little bit of water and cover this and let it cook for about five minutes so that the chicken can cook thoroughly. So after about five minutes, I'm going to add in the cabbage and carrots. And I'm just eyeballing the quantity of my ingredients. Just because with spring grow fillings, you can always use more vegetables if you want more or if you want more chicken, then you use more chicken. So you can adjust it to whatever you want. Or you can skip the chicken completely and just make this vegetable spring grow. So I'm gonna add in the soy sauce and spring onion. And I'll cover this and allow it to simmer for another two minutes. After which the liquid should be completely dry. Then I'm gonna set this aside while I prepare the other ingredients. So to make uh, a sealant, in order to keep the spring rolls from opening when I'm frying it, I'm gonna add some flour and water and just mix it to form a paste. And I'm only using this as a sealant to keep the rolls from unraveling. So now it's time to roll the spring rolls. Roll the spring rolls. <laughs> you get it? So I'm going to carefully remove a wrapper and I'm going to put it on a flat surface. So I'm going to put about one tablespoon of filling onto the edge. And I'm going to roll it over once. Then I'm going to fold over the edges. And when you're doing this, try to make this as tight as possible in order to avoid any air pockets. Because if you have any air pockets or holes, that's going to trap in oil when you're frying it. And nobody likes oily spring roll. So then I'm going to use that flour paste in order to close the edge. So I'm going to continue rolling until I've used up all the wrapper and filling. And I'm just showing the rolling part once again so that you can see it. And another tip for when you're making spring rolls, please make sure that your filling cools down a little before you start rolling. Because if it's too hot, then it's going to wet the wrapper and that will make it soggy even before you start frying it. 
and nobody likes soggy or oily spring rolls so after rolling all of them I'm just gonna begin frying and I'm using vegetable oil to fry and I'm frying them on low to medium heat and I'm gonna fry on a couple of minutes on each side until um, they're all golden brown So if you want to store your spring rolls for later, you can actually freeze them on fried because once they are fried, they don't stay crispy for too long. So what I usually do is I would roll a bunch of them at a time and I would only fry the portion that I need on the same day. So I'll freeze the rest for later. And when I want to eat it later, all I got to do is fry it. And it will still come out very crispy. And that is pretty much it for spring rolls. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And as you can see, it looks really good. And trust me, it tastes even better. And it's so crispy outside and also um, not dry inside. So if you've learned something from this video, please don't forget to give it a like and comment down below. You can also, also share the link with your friends or whoever might benefit from it. And check out my other videos as well. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thank you for watching.